At first, it was great. I was the center of attention. But pretty soon, I started feeling less like the guest of honor and more like the main course. Excuse me. <laughs> Mom, what are all these women doing here? Oh, you noticed the women. Noticed? I feel like a chew toy at a dog show. Did one bite you? <laughs> Choose carefully. One will be your bride. That's funny. I thought you said bride, when obviously you meant girl with whom to have polite conversation. First you pass the bar, and then you get married. No point dilly-dallying. No, no, I like dilly-dallying. Let's dilly-dally. These girls come from good families, proper backgrounds. This was not easy for me to arrange. I found the banner. And your father found the banner. I'm not arguing with the banner. Thank you. I'm just saying I'm not ready to yeah. relax, mingle. Yeah. It's not like we're asking you to pick a bride tonight. Remember your favorites? We'll choose one tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> First law, now marriage. It was time to stand up to my mom, which I didn't have the guts to do, so I went to plan B. Excuse me. <laughs> Ali. Hey, guess what? They got a magician performing, and me and the prime minister are going to assist. What's the trick? I don't know. Something with a snake and a bunch of baby mice. You sure the mice aren't just food for the snake? No, no, the prime. Yeah, yeah, snake food. Anyway, blow it off. I got something better. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Looks like it's not gonna work out. Well played, BB. But you can't run forever. God, I wish I were young again. You see, it makes things better. So you touched a bullet? Not really. The next morning, Mom just picked a girl and we were engaged for a year. Pass the corn. You were engaged? Pass the corn. You should be thankful you were not me that night. Hmm. I'm thankful I'm not you pretty much every night. Am I allowed to tell the story to or not? Okay, what happened to you, Bobber? Yes, yes, calm down, everyone. I will tell you. It was five years ago. I just moved to Mercy. Muslims, huh? Well, I guess I could talk about Muslims on my show. I just don't know what angle to take, you know? I mean, I, uh, am I for you or against you? <laughs> Hello, everyone. I am Baba. I made my decision. Sorry. Don't worry about him. Are you the man who ordered the takeout? Yes, I was told a good Muslim sister ran this diner. I am Baba. I am the good Muslim sister. Oh. <laughs> Chicken, korma, and naan. Yummy. My wife will love it. You and your wife are due to town. I was separated. She lives in Vancouver. Perhaps I should double back the food. No, no, no. She's coming to visit this evening. Inshallah, she wants me back. I will say a prayer for you. Oh, by the way, does this town have a mosque? That is a good idea. And when we get one, their mom should be you. Not some fancy pantsy lawyer from Toronto. Well, I... No, it's true. A liberal, beardless oh. imam from Toronto would be a disaster. Barber, we get it. Move along. That's the way I remember it. Anyway, I wanted everything to be just right for Simina's arrival. So I ordered furniture for my new home. What do you mean, I ordered patio furniture? I ordered by the numbers. P258, P342. How was I supposed to know that P stands for patio? I don't know. Pleasing, pleasant? I can't decipher your codes. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it's a she's here. <laughs> Samina! Still not wearing the hijab. And you still have not let it go. Well, let me ask you this. Who is this man? Okay, calm down, Babar. Oh, how lovely. Hello, Babar. Thank you for doing so much work for my arrival. Meet the man who is here to replace you. Oh, and did I tell you that he is a young, handsome, non-Muslim infidel? Babar, this is my cab driver. I didn't have any cash. I see. Sorry for calling you handsome. Well, wonderful start. And that is 
why I hate snow tires. You were supposed to be telling us about dinner with your ex-wife. New Year's Eve, five years ago. Ah, yes, yes. Ugh, very stressful. Oh, Babar. If the alimony is too steep, we, we can discuss it. Oh, I just moved in two weeks ago. There is a mix-up with the delivery company. Okay. Relax, I, I believe you. Seriously, though, hmm? Babar, we can arrange something. Did you come here to talk about alimony? No, no, of course not. Oh, but I'm hungry. Can we eat? Yeah, yeah. Sit, sit, sit. I'll bring it out. Maybe we can take the umbrella down. <laughs> ah, such a lovely evening in here. You still have not lost your sense of humor. Oh, how I miss your jokes and your jibes and your remarks that cut me to the bone. Cake for dinner. Hmm? All the food groups. I apologize about the cab driver. I thought you had met another man and we're getting married. I've met another man and we're getting married. I knew it! Who is he? How could you do this to me? How long has it been going on? Do you want to hear the answer to your questions or do you want to keep babbling like an idiot? I am perfectly capable of doing both. Baba, I'm in love with this new man, and I'm moving with him to Pakistan. Pakistan? This is your news? And I suppose you'll be taking our daughter with you, you child-napping remarrier, you? My news, you buffoon, was I wanted Layla to come live with you. Oh. My new husband's job has us traveling so much, and I want Layla to have a stable home. Oh, that would be lovely. Well, it's not happening now, Baba. Look how you live. You have... You have no furniture. This is top of the line patio furniture. Your clothes, they're ripped. That's because of this crappy patio furniture. Third cake for dinner? It's the last time I'm going to that diner. A girl needs the right environment. I have to do what's right for Layla. Excuse me, I need to use the washroom. Unless your toilet hasn't been delivered yet. It's upstairs. You have to jiggle the handle when you're finished. I haven't gotten around to fixing it. Of course, in the end, Samina changed her mind. Aww. 